Hello everybody, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica and today I'd like to show you what to do with your horrible failed pores and how to turn them into amazing, interesting piece of art. Because I received so many messages from you telling me that you've got these old pores lying in the corner, you don't know what to do with them. So I'd like to show you a very easy, super fun method how to turn your poor into interesting piece and all you need is your old pour which was which needs to be completely dry make sure you leave it at least for two three weeks till you touch it uh, because it just needs to be completely dry then you will need this washing up liquid this is just the one which i bought in local supermarket any washing up liquid would be good for this and also some acrylic color in spray uh, this is uh, ultramarine blue and you can choose whatever color you like but it looks nice when you mix dark and light colors i don't recommend using too many dark colors or too many light colors just make sure you've got some nice contrast on your art so let's start i'm just gonna open this and i will pour quite a lot of washing up liquid on my pour like this So it's done. Now I will just shake my acrylic color and just spray it on. It looks like enough. I know it looks weird at the moment, but I promise it will turn into a very interesting piece of art. Now the important thing is to keep this dry for at least three, four days. Make sure it dries completely. Leave it somewhere outside if you can, or somewhere in the bathroom because it will smell weird. But when you wash it off, it will turn into beautiful piece. So stay with me and see you soon. Bye. I'm going to wash it off with slightly warm water. So now it's dry and I just want to give it a little more 3D effect so I will use this whiteboard marker which I bought in local supermarket it was very cheap like one euro um, and it will work well with this I will just need to highlight some of these lines and make it look like it's all tangled in so let's start I'm gonna start here on the top
And now I'm going to um, draw some shades around my lines, not too much, just a few little shades to give it more depth. I'll be using my Stabilo pencil from, it's called Woody Stabilo, I'm sure if you search online you will find that. And it's good because it's um, watercolored and you can nicely blend it with just water and it creates beautiful shades so like that and then you put your brush in water and start making shades like this And here's the result of my not so successful pour turned into amazing piece of art. I love how 3D it looks like it's all tangled in. Let me know what you think about this piece of art, if it was inspirational for you. Or you can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show me your beautiful art. Thank you very much for watching and for all your support and positive feedback. You are amazing. Thank you. And hopefully see you soon. Bye.